got a ton of plugins in, and this is gonna totally wreck me. Um, hey, let's just delete all these for now. No, there are so many! Heck. Uh, I guess let's start at the top. Hi, can you, can you stay on there, please? No, no, can, 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 you, can you stay? Um, what's this do? Allows party leaders slash followers to have stepping animations on map. So, yeah, don't, don't they already? <laughs> uh, the note of the actor and turning on stepping animations for the actress right on. Okay. Um, sure. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. Hey, Kira, let's just throw this into your note field. Uh, okay, back to plugins. Oh, you can also turn them off really easily, too, as opposed to, like, having to delete them or move them under main. Yeah, that's not really a thing here, which is kind of nice, honestly. Um, apply! Okay, let's see, what else do we have? We have the... We have more menu things? Background? Oh, you can call a picture as a background, that's nice. I don't have any pictures to do, though, so I can't really show that off. Uh... Yes, no. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Let's try to break it. <laughs> See what happens. Like, like five. I don't know. Um, if I had any pictures, I'd show you, but that would require finding a picture, opening the game folder, and pasting it into your images. Probably slash pictures. Uh, yeah, okay, let's keep that one in. Uh, I assume if I have two of these going, it'll probably try to freak out, so let's not do that. Uh, allow side view and front view. Oh, that's cool. Oh, also, you can see this little help thing that I've been clicking on that pretty much just tells you what it does. And if you want to actually try and screw with the plugins, you can. You just kind of have to go to the um, actual plugins and, like, try to edit them. Then you can see all the stuff. Wow, this is not a lot of stuff. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but, you know, if you're super smart and wanna- Can, can you click, please? <laughs> uh, I also was noticing some game lag. I'm sure it'll probably be fixed, or it's just my computer, but it felt like the game was jittering every few steps, which was weird, and it was on a map with, like, nothing on it, so I don't know what that was about. And the mapping almost feels kind of laggy, too. Like, not to the extent where it's an issue, and I'm sure you'd get used to it, but it's just a thing that I noticed. Um, displays a battle result. Ooh, let's do that. I like that. Uh, let's see. Battle voice. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, play voice sound effect at the battle... At battle when actor dies... Spec specified act... Bleh, does specified action. Oh, I can't read. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a lot, and then I can read. Let's do that. Uh, you can write down the oh, that's cool. You know, that'd be actually really convenient. I don't have anything to modify that with right now, so I'm not going to bother putting it in, but that's, that's a cool thing. Just so you know, also, there are going to be, like, a ton more of these. And why am I scrolling and it's not bothering to, like, select every anything? I don't know. Um... So yeah, there are going to be a ton more plugins than just these ones. These are just the ones I have access to right now. Uh, battle back scroll. Automatically scrolls battle backs one. That's actually awesome, because then you could have something in the foreground and, like, moving water. Awesome. I mean, it's kind of an obvious one, but that's awesome. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do that and have this be, like, variable, too. And try to actually remember that. <laughs> Just for this little demo, though. Probably use it for something different after, but it works for now. Uh, large sprite fix. For, I guess if you want to use giant sprites. Um. Uh, style tiles to use the four passage, passage four direction thing. Cool. Change tile size. Allows maps, allows maps based on grid size other than 48, 48. Uh, I don't quite know how that would work, but that'd be really cool. Uh, change ba- ooh, yeah, okay, let's- let's keep that in. Let's put that in, that's cool. I want to be able to change my equipment in battle. Um... Oh, sorry, that was up here. 
dead or alive item. Make item slash skill, whose scope is trying to hide under things like that. Uh, it's both dead or alive. That's interesting. Uh, saw that one. So, teleport? I don't know. Interesting. Uh, I guess that's cool. If you need it, or something. Forbids formation change. I like that. I would use that. This. Okay, I'm gonna definitely show off this one in a later video, because it's awesome. And there's actually a better one in here that I saw. But this one's cool too. Uh, let's keep going though. Uh, this could also be a cool thing. So you can pause the, pause the um, videos or audio when you take the focus off of the game screen. Hi, game screen. Can I just like go there? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, gamepad. Um, this is pretty neat too, actually. Finish up. Are you done configuring? Yeah, okay. Um, so if you want to change your default button configuration, that's a thing, because apparently you can't just F1 that in your uh, game window anymore. Although I did notice a couple of things, and I'll show them off later, but, but that's, that's fine for now. I'll make a skill that consumes HP, so like a blood mage sort of thing. That's cool. Uh, that's on the, uh, key item alone. Displays key items. Great. Uh, displays on off the number of key items. Okay. I'll just go with that's neat and leave it there. I don't know that much about the key items thing in this or VX actually. Uh, is this another configuration one? You're really going all out on the configurating your stuff thing. I don't want to screw up my configuration, so I don't know what it is, so let's just forget about that for now, but that'll be fine. Uh, stirs the idea of the actor who acted lastly to the variable. To a variable. That... So I, I can't think of why you'd use that at the moment, but that's cool, I'm sure. Uh, same with those. Ooh, lazy tile sets, this one. It allows you to export, import, copy tile sets, and alter data. Uh, I don't know why you would, would use this. I mean, I kind of got an idea, but... Cool! I wouldn't use that, probably, but... Cool! Uh, loop animation allows animations in the map to loop. Straight to the point, I like it. Menu sub-member. Oh, look, it's all in... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Japanese, because I... I don't know. I'm not good with languages that don't have... Okay, let me rephrase that. I'm not good with languages that aren't English. Uh, cool. Is this an- nope. Alt menu screen! I recognize that! Okay, we'll just leave it there for now. Uh, character frames. I like this! I, I like this. I'd have to work on that, but I, I like this. The free- the three flame- f f the blah, blah blah I can words. The three frame thing is a little annoying, but it's- I have mixed feelings about it, honestly. Uh, extends the number of... Okay, that's great. Moving on. Moving on. Provides a full screen type message. That could be useful. Uh, numb state. Uh, okay. Sure. Change the swell self-switch for other events. Yeah. Actually, actually, this could be really cool. I like that. Okay, moving on. Um, bridges, yeah, that's great. I'm sure that's useful. I can do that with events. Or at least I used to, but I don't know if I can for this. I don't know. Actually, I don't think I can, because I don't think you can make tile sets as events anymore. Or tiles as events. I don't know. Uh, ooh, transitions for pictures! Because they took that out, so they just made a plugin for it instead. Woohoo! No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. You guys tried. Good job. Uh, sound effects for messaging, blah, blah, blah. Those, those are very fun. Uh, oh, this one could be useful, though. Um, you can change the position of your actors in the battle, in the side view thing. 
which could be helpful if you're trying to resize your window and it's like not working. Uh, speaking of resizing your window, let's go like something massive. Let's go 1920 by 1080. Oh yeah. Hey, look, we finally got one that I want to use. Uh, I can go to like somewhere down there. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, we saw that one. Smart path allows events or players to do smart pathfinding. I like that. Hmm. Turns on the specified switch when loading a game. Um, I have absolutely no idea why you would need this. I mean, I guess it makes something more convenient, but sure. This one. This one is also what I'm looking forward to doing, and I'm definitely going to go in depth on this one. Just not right now, because that'd be like the entire video, and I just want to kind of show these off right now. Uh, disables all script calls in your game's events by default. Why? <laughs> um... Okay... I'm sure that would be useful. Oh, another thing by, with uh, most, if not all of these, is um, you can use them for commercial games, which is nice. Stay centered, thanks. Okay. Uh, manage dashing, so you can probably disable it. Yeah. Pretty basic stuff. Uh, mouse system. So, pretty much, if you really want to do all that mouse interaction clicky stuff, this is your script. <laughs> or, sorry, your plugin. Actually, you can do quite a lot with this. Uh, allows the player to keep walking after touching events below them. I'm using the mouse or touching. Um, okay. Sure. Uh, preloader. Great. Moving on. Um, so you can change what text does or something? Changes the decoration method for window texts? Sure. Tiny get info window I'm gonna go for. Uh... Okay, that, that, that could be actually cool. Um... Event command switch. We're gonna go with, like, one. <laughs> so, when I'm done this, I have to turn on variables one and two and switch one. Just see what happens with these. Okay, let, let's do that one. Uh, T. Tiny. Tiny. We're skipping that one because we saw that one. Window change. Window skins. Woo! Window skins! Window skins are back! Yay! I should actually look at those because I'm not sure if they're laid out any differently. I am going to do a video probably on the music and graphics, just kind of not yet. Because I wanted to hospital? I wanted to hospital. Okay. How do I... How do I do this? Is it a command I need to call? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's call that. You guys can go away. One of you didn't even work, and I don't know why. Cool, okay, so let's, uh, let's set the, the hospital up. Woo! My game has a hospital! Luna Battle Config. Wow, this is so descriptive! I'm sure I should know what this means, but I actually don't. Luna Engine. None of these have descriptions? Really? Okay, well, we're, we're skipping that one, because I don't actually know what that does. If you know, feel free to tell me, but I don't. Retained... Uh, that's cool. Yed Tile Map. Yeah, I would love to know what these do, without having to go and actually check the plugin file. Uh, transfer steel state? I was creating skills that... <gasps> that's cool, so... Like, Blue Mage, sorta. Oh, that's awesome. That'd be fun. Ooh, word wrap! Word wrap! I'm gonna- I'm gonna test that or something. Okay, uh... Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Mm, word wrap. Auto passive states. That's nice. Enable this plugin... I should actually look at what they are before I try to read them. Enabling this plugin will cause all troops to have events occur in every fight. That's
That's interesting. I'd have to think of a way to use that. Uh, AI control, that's great. Gonna go another battle thing. So you can change the action speed. Ugh, math. I'm a graphics person, I'm not a math person. Uh, oh, that's cool. You can change quite a lot of stuff in some of them. Not gonna worry about that one, though. Not, not yet, because I don't know how many of these actually needs all of the needs. Oh good, it fixes bugs that are in RPG Maker. It's great. I don't know what that actually does, so let's, let's keep it and hope it doesn't break everything. Um, so I battle core engine, element absorb, cool. See, a lot of these are mostly just really little things, but some of them are like, change the entire game plugins. Uh, the player is in the proximity of a certain event. The event will start chasing. That's awesome! It's awesome. Can I, can I have a thing? Uh, it's too complicated. Uh, insert these lines into the script call window. Plugin call window? Or is there a script call window? Okay, so let's uh let's copy that. And Okay, okay, so let's 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 see if I can do that. Uh I hope none of these like break the game or something. That would be really unfortunate. Uh choose player item! The way items are handled in your game. Change the max items and max weapons and all of that fun stuff. You, you know what? Okay, you, you can stay in. I'm not sure if any of these require the actual core engine, but I have that one there. I don't know if it requires the battle engine or any of the other stuff. I would assume it would tell me if it did, but main menu manager. Aspects of my menu. Cool, I can change the position and alignment and stuff. Well, if I didn't have that other one up there, okay, okay, you're you're gonna go in, but you're gonna go off, so I can like try to remember to play with you later. I uh... message adds more features for the messages. That's great, and if I wanted to actually go through that, I would, which I will, just not right now. Hey, this one has a feature for word wrapping, too. And fast-forwarding through the text, and all that good stuff. Uh, region events. Skip. General restrictions. Cool. Uh, memorize location of events when leaving. Okay, that's... actually... cool. Cause, um... That could potentially be cool anyway, because in the older games, when you entered a map and, say, did a cutscene and moved all the characters around and then left the map and came back, they'd all be in their original positions. I'm gonna say it's the same for VX and Ace. Not entirely sure, don't really remember, but... That's... that's cool. I don't need that right now, but that is cool. I like that one. Uh... You know, skills. Skill core. Victory Aftermath. Uh... Didn't they have something for Battle Victory? Okay, well, for now, you can go off, because I think I have another thing for battle victory type of things. Uh, yed and yep. Uh, hi, down here somewhere? Oh, we're, like, getting to the end, or that's just cutting off my screen. Uh, okay, that one requires stuff, it's all new. I was using more than 99 maps! Okay, I have to say, for the two major games that I made, I've never quite come close to 99 maps. I've gone, like, a couple hundred, but I've never gone to 999, and that's the last one. Cool! So, let's, uh, let's test some of these, but before we actually test play, uh, 
I think I just need to plug in this code. With, with you. <laughs> Cause why not? Uh, plug in command. And let's make someone chase my character if they're in like five things towards me. Uh, big monster! Those don't really help me though. Oh, hey, I can select things from the tile set. I don't think I could do that in Ace. I, I could be really wrong, but that's that's awesome. Okay. Uh, okay, um. Okay, we're gonna make a gate follow me. That's fitting. Uh, script. Shouldn't this be like plugin code? Uh, five? If they're in five things? Do I have to have that on repeat? I don't know. Let's try it and see what happens. Let's put you at like a decent speed. You can be on like highest frequency. Uh, okay. So, those are the only two I did. You guys can just go over here. And yeah, no. You, you, you go here. Because why not? So, uh, let's see what all this did. Hi, new game. You know what? Before we do this, we need like. We need game music here. Um. Oh, yeah, I, I actually set a battle background for this area. Let, let's make it something different. Let's make it like. Like that. That looks cool. Okay, music. We need like. A dungeon theme. Totally. This is totally what we're doing. Didn't I have this thing set to change my screen size? Or did, am I crazy? Uh, no, I have it set. I don't know why it's not taking effect. Weird. Because this isn't that big, so... Unless something else is overriding it, which could be. I mean, I have so much crap here. And I don't actually know if changing the location... Um... Okay, so that one worked. So apparently I was right, and it does! And oh my gosh, the screen is huge. Okay, let's see how bad this is. <laughs> okay, so this is the second alternate um, menu screen that would have a picture behind it if, you know, I had one. Okay, so it goes back to that. I have a crap ton of shields. <laughs> okay, um, we're, we're, oh my gosh, we're so tiny. Let's get into a battle. Okay, let's go into full screen. Um, there we go. Oh my gosh, this is so tiny! <laughs> oh, let's not do this again. Okay. Guys, 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 you're really far away from the monsters. And my background is like repeating onto itself. Okay. okay that's that's enough of you guys. Um Okay, we're gonna change that back to normal. I got uh buy screen resolution. Um I think there's one of the uh Um I'm not sure where it is. I might have forgotten to put it in. Uh, it's one of the Yonfly ones. Probably like the core engine that you can... Yeah. Okay, that was probably the one that was changing it then. But that's fine. Let's, let's go back to relatively normal screen size. That isn't intolerably huge. Oh, and they changed the, um... The the uh, game restart button to like F five one two three four yeah F five and uh, it's really weird because it's right beside the full screen button which is like oh let's just make the game into full screen crap I reset the stupid thing anyway what do you do okay so you're the hospital person and I can apparently heal characters that aren't on my team that's cool which doesn't matter because they're all healthy wait wait your name is Lolly. How can I help you? Well, Ollie, you can help me next time I die. Um, do you follow me? 
No? Did I do that wrong? I might have done that wrong. Oh, this is lagging so hard. Okay, so let's... I think I had a victory aftermath thing. thing. Let's try that. Let's try to deal with this massive lag. I'm gonna say, though, this is probably just from my video recorder. I have to record this on, uh, monitor mode, because... I don't know, because, because that's the setting I had it set to when I went to do this. Hey, um, plug-in makers, you need to make me a speed-up button, like, ASAP. Okay, okay, can we kill the bats? Yay! Well, that was exciting. You don't follow me. Uh, I want to check the other, um, whoa. Hey, yeah, I'm back on this one. Why does it start me on that one? I wanted to, I wanted to overwrite this one. Oh no, that's fine. Um, okay, I want to check some stuff. There's also something. That was the... Okay, so that was the um, battle thing that we saw. This one I need to do. This one. Let's check out three. Yet another menu screen layout. Wonderful! Okay. Um, and I need to turn on switch one and variables one and two. I think most of these are just other random stuff that you'd notice when you're actually playing. Uh, why didn't you work? Do I actually have to have it in, like... Because this is what it said to do in Mover, right? Do I actually have to have it as an event on the thing? In which case, how would that... I don't know. I'll check it out later. See if I can get it working. Um... Put on this one. I want to see this one. Okay, so let's check that other aftermath thing. Uh, let's get into a battle first. You still don't follow? Oh, hey, he follows me! Cool, the gate follows me. That's awesome. Aw, the monster surprised me. Okay, well, let's just kill you guys really fast. Pow! Oh, they're so chibi! This battle takes so long. You have nothing equipped. Okay, I had an equip- yeah, down here. Why do I have so many shields? <laughs> Okay, well, that's the equip thing. Okay, guys. Can you, can you do this faster? I'm impatient right now. Yay! We killed the bats! We're so good. Ooh, I like that one. I like this one much better. Uh, I guess I got 42... That. That's cool. <laughs> the gate follows me! Oh, I love it. Okay, well, uh, I also wanted to, to, to switch out this one. because I don't know why I'm saving. It's just such a habit. Um, I wanted to switch out the... This menu... Wait, didn't I do that? Is that the same one? Well, that's lame. Okay, well that one's fine. Do you have a menu thing? Yeah. Let's see what that one does. Uh, and we are turning on... I don't know why I'm giving you a graphic. Here, have a graphic. We're turning on... Switches are down here. Switch one. And variable one. Yeah, you, you don't you don't matter anymore. You can just go not exist. Let's just turn that to an arbitrary number. 
And let's do the same with this one. Wait, yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, and... Yeah, see what happens. Oh, hey, um... a thing. Let's use you. Um, I just want to test if any of my stuff changed stuff from the stuff. <laughs> uh, any of the plugins change anything with text. Hello. Um, I'm not crazy. I'm adorkable. Teehee. Yeah, no, Kira's totally a psycho. Uh, okay, well, you can just go down here. Yeah. Okay, so by default that doesn't change anything. Um, okay, switches are on. Oh, okay, so that's what, that's what the animation thing meant. It just wanted me to go on, um, auto animation. That makes more sense. Door! Leave me alone! Oh yeah, oh yeah. The, the, the world is moving for some reason. You know, I would have thought it'd be the other way around. That the other one would be the one that would be moving. Because, like, you're standing on this. The other thing would be, like, the sky or water or something, wouldn't it? Or am I crazy? Okay, yeah, just, just kill the things. Um, I think that was all I wanted to test, actually. I we Oh, write the menu, because I changed that. <laughs> it's hard keeping all of this stuff straight. Now, I forget what Switch 1 did. <laughs> I, I know I set it to something. Okay, Akira, honey, you're getting a sword that deals max damage. Yay! Chibi's victory! Okay, so I thought that said it changed something, but it still all looks kind of the same. Uh, oh, hey, that... I'm not sure if it was there, but that does graphics or something. Still the same. Ooh, debug! Okay, I'll, I'll give... I like that there's a debug thing from the menu. Because normally you have to hit one of the F keys to get to that. I like that. You guys did good. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's all there is to just not change. Am I on auto dash now? So I think that's it for the plugins before I actually delve deep into them. Uh, what was that one with the switch for? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, hey, there's always the, 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 the word wrap thing. I want to test that. Um... And now, I'm a cat, meow, and also, okay, will this actually work, though? I don't know. Let's try that. And not get into a battle while I'm walking over to the center, you see, it doesn't look anything like their face graphic. Hi. Okay, so, though, um, am I missing what that was supposed to be doing? Uh, will it do something if I put it down here? <laughs> okay, I don't know why that's not working unless I have to like... I don't know. I don't know. I'd, I'll check that out. Maybe I'm just crazy and thinking that should be doing something else. Uh, alternatively, I might have to turn something on for that. Um, do I? Like I said, I haven't really looked into these that much, so everything I'm doing is kind of just on the fly right now. Wrap. I'm gonna apply 
the brake lines and edges so you manually. Oh, so I have to put that in or something? Oh. Okay, so so let's let's try this again. Okay, let's see that. Hey, look, it works! It works! I like that. I like that that works. Anyway, I think that's all for the look at the plugins for now. Those are the couple of ones that I found were cool. And I'll be back with more in-depth plugin y stuff at some point, among other things that I plan on be doing. I, that I plan on be doing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll go with that. Anyway, I shall see you then.